Right, we're back for the third episode. The docks. The episode I've been looking forward to. So this is probably my most favourite scene out of the whole Broken Sword series. And I'll let you know why. So basically, this is following up from the last episode where Izhuzh figured out that we have to go to... Um, well, there were some packages being delivered. The docks. So we've headed over there. Okay. Got a little dog. Let's try and hop the fence. What's the big idea? I don't know. The dog went berserk for no apparent reason. He's trained to do that. The idea is to deter any would-be intruder. Oh, I get it. Okay, I'm sorry. That's okay. Just remember, he's a trained attack dog. A killer. No, he isn't. He's a little pup. Um, yeah, so why this episode rings true for me is I remember playing this on the PlayStation 1, so I had a demo. And so the demo basically only allowed me to play this one scene. And so effectively, I've played this scene about a hundred times because I was too tight and too poor to actually afford the actual game. So I just play this on repeat over and over again. So hopefully this should be straightforward. But this is where my love of the game really kicked off. This was my first experience into it and that's when I had the demo for, for Broken Sword 2. So if I touch this chimney, basically he'll go, ow, it's too hot. Ouch! That's there hot. There we go. Memory's still working really, really well. So, if I remember right, I think we have to go down here and we'll find a bottle. I think there's a stick, first of all. There it is. Or a hook. So we pick up the hook. Come on. Come on, Yoshi. The stick had a hook on one end. I figured it was a boat hook. For hooking boats. For hooking boats. Well done. What a genius you are, my friend. So. Oh, yes. And I think I have to speak to the legend. So if I go into here and have a chat to the guy. Basically, he'll drop a bottle. There you go. There's him dropping the bottle through the latch. And when he drops that bottle, I can go back down and actually pick it up. This is a wicked line, actually. Just sat there. Hi, good morning. Food. Do you know what time it is? No, I don't wear a watch. As my dad used to say, I'm not into time, man. Well, you're too early. Oh, it doesn't matter. So, this is another one of those where you don't really need to talk to the guy. The, problem, the one problem with the game is, is you can basically talk to people for absolutely ages and you basically get absolutely nothing. You literally get nothing from them. It's not even a case of, like, at least it's funny the bottle was to them. just out of Sometimes reach. Just Nothing was going to get me into eight. that water if I could help it. Right. So. I'll get the hook. I'll hook the bottle out. Why not? I just knew that boat hook would be useful for something. As for the bottle, even if I couldn't find a use for it, I cleaned up the dock. So, what we're going to do is effectively convince this dog to come over to this ledge and then we're going to pull the ledge open and let the dog drown. Yes, that is exactly what we're going to do. And if you think that that's cruel, then you should have figured out the game by now because literally all we've done so far is nick things from people. So, I think what we do is we use the bottle and the contents to cool down the chimney. 
The bottle was half filled with water. Maybe it would cool the cone down enough to touch it. Just maybe. I think you've sussed it out. Now I could see into the pipe which formed the chimney. Right. So the next thing that the good guy's going to do is smoke out this innocent guy from his room. I can't remember how we did it. Can I pull this back in there or something? Hmm. The bottle had blocked the chimney, and the hut was filling up with smoke. Someone had once told me. Who was I to argue? The packet was full of dog biscuits. So what we've done in this scene, just to recap, is we annoyed a little dog. We smoked this guy's house. We then stolen his biscuits, and now we're going to drown his dog. So I chuck the dog biscuits on the little platform. The dog will come over. Here, yeah, boy. Um, Have a. And then we're gonna drown him. Alright, dog's there. Let's pull the latch and watch him drown. I felt a slight twinge of conscience as I prepared to give the dog a dunking. It soon passed. It soon passed. As I'd expected, the dog could swim like a, well, like a dog. Great punch locks. Great. Okay, well, no, I think I've definitely played this demo. So, so that was the end of the demo. So that you, you might be thinking that is a really short demo, but genuinely, that probably took me hours to figure out the first time I played it. To be fair, I was pretty young, but still. Right, but the reason why I'm saying I have played this is because I remember this scene as well. And you use these barrels to knock a guy over. Um, and I think... Basically, go up some stairs and open the window. Yes, that's it. So, yes, I have played this. I remember this scene. I think I remember this scene just because I remember playing that demo over and over again. So, I remember this bit. Although this wasn't part of the demo, I just remember when I played the actual game. I just loved playing this. It was just so reminiscent. It just reminded me of the first time I got into it. So, because most most adventure games aren't point and click, this is just one of the few that aren't.
holes. That did the trick. The fan clunked and shorted out as its blades were mashed. The fans were spinning so loud. Hey, you you make any more noise, I break your arms. That bully needed to be taught a lesson. Garzak's already mad because we didn't you might get remember, the stone. This is the chap Give that me any trouble, I'll Nico tell him it was other. all your fault. Karzak? That must be his boss. Karzak was the crazy guy, if you remember, that was chatting to, to Nico. Not Nico Bellic. Yes, I've overplayed that joke, but do I care? No, not really. He's climbing down the stairs like, wow, absolute gymnast. I give him a definite 3 out of 10 for that. Right, so we bang on the door. The guy comes out and he scares us. I think this is one of the few scenes Boys. where you've actually got time it and you've got to run upstairs quickly. Is this Condor Trans Global? Nobody here. Go away. I'll give you five seconds to let me in or I'll bust down the door. Okay. I'm coming. Uh oh. He didn't sound too happy. Now, if you stay, you basically get killed. But it's only like a few parts of the game that you need to die. But it, it reloads you like right at the beginning of the scene so you figure out what you're not supposed to do. Supposed to. I can't remember. Maybe you're supposed to. Um, fling one of the barrels to get his attention. Yeah, probably. Hey, what now? My name is Stobart. What do you want? I've come for my girl. No girl. Open up. I got the feeling. Let's try again. Maybe you're supposed to fling a barrel to get his attention and then he walks over there. Let's try that. Attention, and then I think you flip that one over, and that knocks him over into the water. Yeah. Ruthless, absolutely ruthless game. Time to go in and nick some more stuff. Right, let's go into the drawer. The only interesting thing I found was a small brass key. I vaguely remember the inside of this place as well. This whole box, it was locked. for some reason I just remember it really vividly. Or semi vividly. The little brass key lock. didn't fit the lock. The brass key didn't fit the lock. Can you jam it open with the dark? Maybe not. Can you crack it open with a piece of coal? Maybe not. I don't think I've got any other keys. Let's go this way. Mm -hmm. 
There he is. Oh, don't shoot. The little guy had a blowpipe. That confirmed my suspicions about what had happened to Nico. I waited for him to shoot me, but it didn't happen. Instead, he seemed to want to tell me something. Uh... What? What do you want? Uh, uh... He seemed excited, almost desperate. What did he want so bad? Hi. Guaramonte. Was that your name? Guaramonte? Uh, Guaram His vocabulary seemed a little... Hmm. He seems like the kind of guy that you'd give some dog biscuits to. Tell me what you've done with Nico, and I'll share these biscuits with you. I knew it sounded lame, trying to bargain with a box of doggy snacks. Besides, how was he to know how yummy they tasted? Mm, no, that didn't work. How about Nico? What have you done with my girlfriend? Huh? I am not leaving without her. Where is she? He didn't appear to understand me. That's not helpful. How about the key? What does this key unlock? Huh? Ah, oh, there you go. We're getting traction now, guys. Hey, you're manacled. Who did this? That big thug? I'm gonna set you free, okay? So the keys for the shackles on him. Hey, come back here! And he's disappeared. What a ledge. The little guy had gone to ground. I'm pretty sure we're gonna go up this lift and we'll find Nico. I don't know why it just all of a sudden had a, a reminder of Abe's Odyssey. Maybe Abe reminds me of this. Just guy. in time. Hello. Interrupting the beam of light kept the doors from closing and stopped anyone from using the elevator. This. But what now? He's such a weirdo. There. That would keep the doors from closing. Well done, Nico. Uh, sorry, George. Yeah, and I think there's a light switch here. And then there's some scratch marks, and then you find a secret door. I still remember it. There was an arc-shaped scratch on the floor, as if a door had been opened in the nearby wall. My fingers traced the outline of a secret door in the wall. Then I found a small round stud, which was set flush to the surrounding wooden panel. Love the character expressions on the left. Look at your Just as I found a secret room. Up to cut the statue first. And Will you look at this? It was a small statue of a kneeling figure in an ornate headdress. The head was hideous, with huge staring eyes set in a decomposing face. Hey! Somebody's marketing Labano dolls. Maybe I should untie her. Hold still. Ow! Think yourself lucky you don't have a mustache. About time. You could at least have helped me before grabbing everything you could find. Not so loud. They'll hear you. Get these ropes off me right now. You know, the mood you're in, maybe that's not such a good idea. Where's Pablo, the big guy? Out cold. Too much wine doesn't agree with him. Are you okay? Of course I'm not okay. Oh, Untie me this instant. Wine in them. Of course they did. Got told about that right at the beginning. She 
She's there. Bit of a moody How one. you feeling? Oh, thanks, George. I knew Ubier had been in Marseille. Look how but smiley never mind she is about on the right hand side. How about you tell me exactly what's going she on? Starting with grumpy. that Mayan I picked it up from one of Karzak's drugs? Yes. The proof I needed to expose Karzak's smuggling operation. I'd set it up to act as his courier, and once I had the proof I planned to courier. go straight to Inspector Moon. Was a courier. But instead of the dope I'd expected, they sent me that stone instead. And to find out more, I called Professor Oubier who invited me to his mansion. Oubier. At least I thought it was Oubier. I don't get it. If Karzak's business is drugs, why is he so desperate to get his hands on that stone? Maybe it has some significance to the local people in Central America. It could be Karzak's means of getting them to work for him. Anyway, we've got to get out of here. Nico, wait! Alright, let's get out of here. We can't use the up. We've got to do something. I'm not sure. So, we've got loads of items now. We use the masking tape to block up the lift again. So, no one can come up the lift. Hopefully, the tape would prevent those doors from closing and stop the Indian from being able to call the elevator. Well, I might be wrong here. But maybe France is a bit different. But there's always a s stairs. Two upstairs. Like, ah, what if there's a fire? You can't use a lift in the case of a fire. Absolute nonsense. Six inches off the floor, and I said a silent prayer to whoever had discovered the power of hydraulics. What on earth are you doing? Trying to raise the statue so I can hook it to that pulley. Is that really going to help us? I like to keep myself occupied in times of stress. Talk about annoying. Can I put the rope on her? What was it you wanted to talk about? I didn't think she'd be interested. I don't want to talk to her about the rope. I want to tie her to the rope and put her back. Okay, let's put that on. It would be much easier to attach the rope. Okay, let's put the rope onto the statue. That you look way too heavy for me to. I didn't want to remove the rope. So fiddly to try and talk to her. Help me move the statue. How do I tell her to move the statue? Have you any idea who this little statue was supposed to be? I'm not very well acquainted with my own deities, George. But whatever his name, he sure is ugly. It was too heavy for me to move on my own. On my own. This is where we need Psycho Lady. Psycho Lady. God, so difficult to try and con click on her when she's moving about. Yes. Could you give move me a hand statue. to push this statue? What for? This, my dear, is our passport to freedom. If Free you say ball. so, dear. Okay. 
hijos. Maybe it's just me, and I'm great. Nice to be working. She genuinely didn't look like she did anything. Bugger off somewhere. This is what I mean. It makes no sense. She's completely useless. And then let's use our shackles and fly down. Nico, I have a great idea. In Paris. George, where have you been? Never mind that. Do you have the Mayan stone? Maybe I have, but uh... Don't argue, Andre. Give the stone to George. Well, of course. If you say so, Nicole. Thank you so much, Andre. George, he told me you'd been kidnapped, my dear. I'm glad to see he was mistaken. Oh, but it was true. If it hadn't been for Georges, I wouldn't be here now. Uh, it's not finished yet. Karzak's thugs will be back for that stone, you can bet. That little guy kept saying Coromonte. Perhaps the name is significant. Coromonte is in Central America. That's where Ubier gets his artifacts. That's all we needed to know. Come on, Georges. The one thing I didn't get is where's all the money coming from? Because these guys seem absolutely... Guaramonte, the, the traveler's work. rear entrance to Central America. Place. Well, that's how it was translated in the brochure. I, I don't quite get it. We didn't know what we were looking for, but the offices of Condor Trans Global seem a good they place to start. In professional, please. <laughs> It looks like there's a lot to discover here. Hey, it's market day. I don't see any cabs. Let's ask someone how to get to Cuaramonte City. Okay. Keep your eyes peeled for any sign of Condor Transglobal. Right. We'll discover this one together tomorrow. Because this place looks busy. Talk to them. To do something in the heart, talk to the guard, talk to this bloke, talk to this woman, talk to this guy, talk to these guys, talk to this guy, talk to the goat, go up here. Yeah, this this, this one could take a while, so, so let's leave this till tomorrow. Alright, till tomorrow. Peace.